I think that developing a healthy self-awareness of how you're wired and just strengthening your emotional muscles are, in my opinion, two keys to being truly unstoppable in both business and in life. You can read all the books, you can listen to all of the experts on these subjects, but honestly, deep down, I know that the greatest teacher will always be my own life and my own experiences, oftentimes my own mistakes. Let's just be real. And if you find yourself like me, just getting kind of triggered from time to time, especially when you're in a season of growth, which is when it tends to happen for me, then today's episode is definitely for you. everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I am grateful to spend a little time with you. And today is one of those episodes where I am just going to come clean and share something kind of embarrassing and hilarious that happened to me in the last week that I realized it just pointed, like shine this light on areas of my life where I'm probably getting in my own way. And it all comes back to what I titled this episode that Usually in life, when we get triggered or when we get upset, we get angry. It's not usually even about what happened. It's not the thing, the event that happened. It's what we made it mean. And the interpretation that our brains gave, what we said it meant about us or who we are, what people think about us. And, you know, it's funny. I am like a huge personal development junkie. I'm a nerd. It's true. You, if you don't know this already, now you know. And so I've done like a ton of work. I've done a lot of mindset work. I've like looked at all my shit. I've, I thought I was like developed, right? And then it always happens in a, the sneakiest of ways when I'm not expecting it. I will get smacked right in the face with something that I didn't even realize was like this limiting belief that showed up again or or something lingering that like was just such a blind spot. And this conversation happened last week that I had to share about because I actually think I'm not the only one who could probably learn a thing or two from this, but I had to share it. Just, I mean, that's the great thing about having a podcast is you can just come on here and share all of your, all of your mis- mistakes and mishaps because chances are it will probably help at least one other person. So that's my, really my intention for this episode today. But what had happened is, so I was sharing with a girlfriend about a text message that I had received that triggered me like nothing else. It was one of those text messages that like you read it, or I think it was like a DM. I don't even remember. And I read it in my mind in like a snotty voice. (laughs) please tell me I'm not the only one that does this. You know, you get the text and you're like, meh, 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 meh. And so I, re- I read this text and it like just pissed me off. And I made up all these things about like the person's intentions that were sending it. And what was actually happening is that it started to trigger this fear that I had, which is as I grow, And as I have more success, there are going to be people in my life who can't handle it or don't like it. Not that they can't handle it. That sounds, that isn't quite what I want to say, but like people who just, I don't know, think something of me or, you know, they aren't comfortable with my growth or, you know, with me stepping out. So anyway, long story short, this text really, really triggered that. And and actually the text came in like over a month ago. And then just recently I was like sharing with a girlfriend. I didn't name names, but I was like, yeah. And then this person sent me this text and let me tell you what they said. And I said it to her. I said what was in the text in in the voice, you know, the snotty tone of voice like meh, 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 meh. And I was like, can you can you believe it? And I, and she just sat there, she paused and she said back to me (laughs) in such a loving way, well, actually, Linz, if, if I just like take the words at face value, mean, which was a nice way of her saying, like, if I just take out that tone of voice you added, that actually sounds like a compliment. And she just paused with like this little twinkle in her eye 
And it was like one of those moments where you kind of want to like crawl into your turtle shell if you had one. Like it would be real, real convenient to have a turtle shell at that point. And I had to like kind of like swallow the immediate defensive response I wanted to give, which was, well, yeah, but like, did you hear the tone that I read this in? Like, did, but if you knew the backstory, right, we always want to justify. And I just sat there for a second because I, I think I kind of realized this was one of those moments where like, huh, okay, like what if I could just take out the added meaning that I gave this and actually just take these words at face value? What if I could actually just choose to see that it's possible, it's very possible that I read this, this message and added a whole bunch of meaning? And it's never really fun to look at that. It's never really fun, especially like if this is between you and a spouse and like a communication was delivered and you made it mean something else and you're reacting to that. It's like never fun to be the bigger person and actually say like, okay, could I reframe this? But the truth is like, let's say this isn't what the message said. Let's say someone sent me a text that, that really did trigger my biggest fear of, okay, if I grow or if I become, I don't know, successful or whatever, if I just shine bright that it's going to upset someone and they, maybe they send a communication that goes like, well, who do you think you are? Like, you just think you're, you just think you're so cool. Um, like this, like the PC version, right? But like, let's say worst case scenario, someone sends that to me. And that's like my biggest fear. That's my biggest trigger. I always have a choice. So here's what I learned in that moment is stepping back and realizing what I was actually mad about, what I was actually triggered by was the fact that this person said something. I interpret it. I interpreted it and gave it a meaning that said, people can't handle my success. People are jealous. They're now acting weird around me. And nothing in that message actually said that. That was all the meaning that I added. And the truth is, like, let's go back to the example text I gave of like, you know, who do you think you are? You just think you're so cool. This is all, you know, this is just like you thinking you're the awesome person in the world. You know, like anyone would actually say that. I could actually choose to be like, yeah, actually, thanks for that reminder. I am awesome. Like, I do think I'm awesome. But my mind is going to make something up anyway. It's either going to make up something that disempowers me and triggers me even more. Or I could choose in that moment to like notice how my immediate reaction feels and then choose to reframe it to something that if I'm going to make it up anyway, may as well make up something that empowers me. So all it took was in that moment, that friend saying, you know, Linz, if I were to read that text, I would actually read it as a compliment for me to step back and realize that doesn't matter how much personal development I've done, doesn't matter how much I've worked on this and have really worked to not be triggered by much, that it doesn't take that much at all. Just a little text message to send me down a spiral of feeling like my worst fears are true, but that I always have a choice to come back and reframe it into something that actually makes me feel empowered and makes me feel like I can move forward and I can do the things that I want to do. So I know I can't be the only one who's ever done this, who has ever read a text message in that voice, who has ever taken something and misinterpreted it and reacted to that interpretation versus the truth. And I just want to remind us all, like, I mean, this is like the real stuff that comes up as you're growing. And especially if you're in a season where you, you're going beyond what you knew you were capable of. What I've noticed about myself is that those are the times that I tend to get the most triggered and I tend to almost go in search of this evidence that the worst fears and the things that I, I worry will happen, that those, that those are true. So if you're finding yourself in a season of growth too, maybe you're finding yourself, you know, just a little more sensitive and making up meaning more than usual. And I just want you to know, you know, you're not the only one. None of us are perfect and... You know, if you're if you want someone to like read the text message to in that snotty voice, you know, you, you can like voice text it to me. But at the end of the day, you always get to choose whether you're going to believe that version of it or whether you're going to choose to make up a meaning and an interpretation that actually frees you and sets you sets you up for success to make the impact, you know, you're meant to make. 
I would love to know what you are taking away from this episode, right? I would love to know that my major faux pas maybe is shared by someone else or helped you to see that maybe you found yourself making meaning this week in a way that you didn't need to. So I love when you share what you take away from these episodes. I love when you screenshot and tag me. Definitely do that. And let me know that I'm not alone because something tells me that I'm not. <laughs>